capable of changing as fast as change itself. In a world that's ruled by relentless, multifaceted, occasionally shocking change, are you constitutionally adaptable? And by that I mean, do you capture more than your fair share of the best opportunities out there? Do you regularly surprise your clients and your competitors? I mean, knock their socks off, surprise them. Do you attract more than your share of the best talent in the world? And do you have a high ratio of innovation and value created per person inside your organization? In other words, are you able to regularly re reinvent yourself as a firm without walking through the valley of the shadow of death? And so help me out here. What do these, what do these four companies have in common? Yell it out. Wait, I heard computers. What else? Blue. Blue. Oh. Let me help you. <laughs> these guys were four of the dominant technology companies for decades leading up to the, 2000, to the early 2000s. Every single one of them missed the most important shift in technology that we've probably seen in our lifetimes, the emergence of mobile. Now, I don't want to be a buzzkill here at the beginning of this talk, but this, this is true all over, not just in technology. In industry after industry, it's the insurgents who create all the new markets and all the new values. Now, all of these incumbents here, they have all the money, all the people, all the customer relationships, the R&D budgets, the celebrated CEOs with the big salaries. They have all that stuff, but what they tend not to have is the ability to proactively reinvent themselves. And just take a couple of these. So just look, you know, WhatsApp and Skype have drained billions of dollars from the telco industry. Skype has a billion members. WhatsApp has 450 million. I mean, to the tune of uh, 35, 40 billion dollars they've taken away from that industry. Or look at Amazon and Walmart. Amazon innovates more radically, more rapidly than anyone else online or probably even offline. They raked in $90 billion in revenues last year. You know, that is on track. It's on pace, not just, not only is it dwarfing Walmart's online revenues, they are on pace to actually meet up and exceed Walmart's total revenues. It's just extraordinary if you think about it. And I could go on and on with lots of statistics and slides. The basic point is success has never been more fleeting, even for these insurgents in the right-hand column. Now, the good news here is this, is this is not fate. You know, it's not ordained that as you grow older and bigger as an organization that you're going to become more inertial, more incremental, and less inspiring. There's another path here, the path to becoming more adaptable, more innovative, more inspiring. It is certainly the road less traveled, but what I would love to do, my goal here with you today, is to unpack three migration paths to resilience, three paths to becoming bolder and more brilliant and more brave uh, as leaders going forward. Oh.